Dinosaurs and their visual appearance has undergone a great level of revision as we've learned more about them, and this has been helped massively by the findings of many feathered dinosaurs from across the world. Understanding their integuments, therefore, has been a key point of research when it comes to dinosaur paleontology, and this has been seen quite clearly in the animal that will be talked about in this video. Discovered by a farmer, Yang Jun, north of the Hebei province of China in 2014, the fossil was later acquired by the Paleontological Institute of Liaoning, and was later described in 2018, being named as Taihong Juji. Said genus name refers to the Mandarin work of Taihong, which means rainbow, the reason why will be evident later, and the species name of Juji coming from their large lacrimal crests near their eyes. Their skeleton is incredibly well preserved, being largely complete and intact. The animal itself is quite small, at little more than 40 centimetres in length and being estimated to be less than a kilogram in weight when alive, and in quite the interesting proportions compared to their known relatives. Being classed as an Anchiornithid, a group of bird-like dinosaurs, with for now at least uncertain specific taxonomic positioning, they for one have a fairly short tail as well as comparatively small forelimbs, being 60% of the hind limb length, with their humerus being especially short at 42mm long, being 60% the length of the thigh bone compared to the ratio of 100% with their relative of Anchiornis. Their owner being longer than their upper arm is a trait typically limited to flighted birds, and alongside this, had hips which are more triangular in shape, which is unlike other Paravians, where theirs is more triangular. Of course, the most notable feature of the finds were the feathers, preserved in incredible detail. Like their relatives, Taihong was a very fluffy animal, with their fossilised remains showing the remains of their original plumage, and the density at which it occurs. A lot of them were very long, having some of the longest feathers known in their group, and were even more impressive in that they preserved nanostructures in them, which were analysed and found to be melanosomes, the organelles that in life give feathers their coloration. Being the earliest known example of this in the fossil records, melanosomes are stored up as pigments, and from analysing them, determining the colour of many different dinosaurs has been undertaken, and this includes Taihong. To determine the coloration, the researchers involved, as they've previously done under similar situations, examine the shape of the melanosomes, as this is what determines the structure's colour. After comparing the fossilised melanosomes to living birds, it was found that they would have been overall been a dark black, though interestingly, with the platelet-shaped melanosomes, they were found to be similar in structure to the iridescent colours seen in birds like swifts, hummingbirds, and trumpeters. These colourful feathers were mainly found around their neck and head, as well as on parts of their tail, and are generally interpreted as either pinks or yellows, although other interpretations are also valid as more work is yet to be undertaken for them. In terms of their overall environment, the formation where they were found, the Taljishan environment, was overall a temperate one, mainly comprising of conifers and ginkgos, with the area being located in a valley amongst extensive lakes and river systems, alongside volcanic activity, all features which help out immensely in the fossilisation process. Living alongside other strange feathered animals like the relative and Shionis and the bizarre Yi, it goes to show how much there is to learn about them and other feathered dinosaurs, and that there is certainly more to be discovered. All in all, I thank you for watching this video on these animals and that you may have learned something new. If you would like to see more from this channel, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.